Hey guys, um, hope you're having a good morning. It is roughly 6.15 in the morning. And I wanted to um, kind of introduce you to one of our newest horses. And I know I haven't really recorded the horses that much. Um, they're a little antsy because uh, I gotta give them their breakfast still. So, and I've got the sun, sorry about that, I've got the sun, kind of. Anyhow, um, as the video suggests, we are going racing. And um, I just wanted to introduce you to him real quick. Okay, so now that i got the video flipped around, this is our little Arabian racehorse. Uh, his name is Kazoo, he's seven years old. And uh, we just picked him up from Ohio. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. He's like, did you bring me food? Hi, buddy. Yeah. Um, anyhow, he's seven years old, and yes, his mane is all matted. He was out in the field for about a year and got a little bit chubby on us. Um, we have not owned him. I actually threw my daughter with a broken ankle into the truck and threw her friend into the truck. And we drove to Ohio to pick him, hi buddy, uh, to pick him up and then turned around and came right back home. So I haven't had him. Um, he's only been here maybe a week. And I let him settle down for a couple days, and apparently he finds the camera very interesting. Um, <laughs> hi, buddy. Anyhow, um, I'm going to have to back up here because he keeps trying to get the camera, or keeps trying to smell it. So, uh, let's see. Uh, you know, Arabians aren't as big. You can see the thoroughbred in the background there. Uh, that's Lily. Oh. You are, you are a ham. You just want to be in the camera. Anyhow, that's Lily back there. Uh, she's about four years old. She was injured on the track and had surgery. And now I'm getting sniffed. So she, she is no longer racing. Um, and then our other stallion back there, whose butt is showing. Um, that's Rio. He's, he's about 25 years old. Uh, anyhow, she's, she's, uh, in that stall. Oh, yes, I love you. Anyway, she's in that stall because she's a little bit underweight. Um, we haven't had her very long e either. She came from California. So she's in that stall just gaining some weight and I will eventually put her out in the field. And we are in the process of, uh, repairing some of these stalls. <laughs> He is really interested in this camera. Anyway, uh, so we were in the process of repairing some of these stalls. We replaced all the uh, roofs on them. Uh, did that last week. So now we're just replacing some of the, the damaged sides. And he is just very, very interested in this. My buddy. Anyhow, he is going today. I have to get the trailer hooked up after they have breakfast. He's going this afternoon to get a Coggins and um, get his health certificate. And there's one of our feral cats. That's Stubby. Hi, Stubby. And the stalls are a little bit dirty. I gotta clean them today. So uh, his feet have not been trimmed. I'm just gonna clean them up a little bit because he'll be getting shoes at the track anyways. So, what are you doing, gonna chew on me now? Anyway, so I, I haven't called the ferrier out yet, but I'm just gonna clean him up with a file. And, you know, he's not a very big guy. He, nothing like, like she is over there. She's probably close to 17 hands. I haven't actually measured her yet. But, um, you know, Arabians are a little bit smaller horse. Normally, there's some pretty big Arabians out there. 
but we're just working on getting the belly fat off of him and getting him back in shape because you can't just take a horse that's had a year off and throw them back on the track. That's that's not a cool thing to do. They got to be physically in shape. So I just wanted to kind of introduce you to him. And if you're interested in seeing his progress, um, I will try to, hi buddy. I will try to get up to the track as often as I can, but it's a two and a half hour drive from where we are. So I don't know how often, oh, excuse me. I don't know how often I will be able to get up there. Um, anyhow, I just thought I would introduce you to him. Uh, some people said that they were interested in, in the animals and seeing the animals. And I've got, to, I've got to cut his mane and get all these knots out of it. He's been, you know, they get itchy when they shed and they start rubbing against things. And he's just knotted his mane up real bad. And he's got a cockle burn here too. So I'm just going to cut this a little bit shorter. He doesn't need it real long um, for being up at the track. So... Anyhow, he's a really sweet boy. Okay, well, um, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to kind of see his his progress. And, and um, if so, then I will try to get up there. See, he's really itchy. He's got all this, I don't know if you can see it flaking off. It's, he's got all the shedding going on. He's just itchy. Oh, uh, buddy. Yeah. He's got all this. You can see the hair flying. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow. Um, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Um, I will post a link to the Facebook page that actually has the horses. My normal link doesn't... Um, I don't normally post the link for the horses, but... Oh, yeah. You are itchy, huh? Yeah. Poor guy. Anyhow. All right, do you want to say goodbye? No? <laughs> He's got to have his che teeth checked, too. Because, uh, you know, the horses, their teeth keep growing, and they, they kind of wear them funny, especially if they're in stalls. So they got to have their teeth checked. Anyway, um... Yeah, so I'm going to let you guys get back to your morning. My morning is going to be uh, full of alfalfa here in a few minutes. So, uh, you can see some of the other field horses are in. There's another stallion over there. He's 15. And our thoroughbred. That's our thoroughbred stallion. He is 11 years old. And that's our little three-year-old filly that we bred. Uh, she's, she's still training just for basic ground manners and riding and she wants her breakfast. So I got to get them their breakfast. All right. We will see you guys later. Bye-bye.